Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can easily connect a car stereo amplifier or a car subwoofer in your home, giving you a powerful system very cheaply and easily. This way, you can take your grandma's car subwoofer and connect it to your gaming console or computer. The first thing you need for this job is definitely car audio. Whether it is speakers with a head unit, speakers and a car amplifier, or an active subwoofer or passive subwoofer with a mono sub amplifier. Any music system you can start using in your home. Once the audio system is found, the next thing you need is a 12 volt power source. The car battery is not the best source, because the car battery will run out and then in the evening your grandmother will not be able to start her car and you will get a good ass whooping for doing it. The best way is to use an old computer power supply unit, or PSU. These have a 12 volt output. The more amps you see at the 12 volt output, the more power it will give for a car audio system. The amount of amps they can put out varies from power supply to power supply. When you get big bass from car audio subwoofers in the home, you will like it and want more power. Then you can use a server power supply. It has significantly more amps and costs less. How to prepare a server power supply for your bass test fun? See the video above. When you get your first old power supply and you are under 18, ask your parents or grandmother if you can work with electricity. Because I wouldn't want to hear it that you have been electrocuted to death before you do a car subwoofer base test in the house. Once you get all the legalities sorted, then you need to find the 24 pin ATX connector on the PC power supply. It has a green wire in the middle next to the black wires. These two wires, the green and the black, when connected together will turn on the power supply without the PC motherboard. You can use a piece of metal to connect them together, but before connecting them, disconnect the power supply from the electrical outlet. It's for your safety. The next step is to find the yellow wires, because plus 12 volts comes through them. And, of course, you still need the black wires for ground. There are several ways you can do this. Splice all the yellow wires into a one bigger yellow cable and do the same with the black wires. Then you can extend both cables with another cable to make it easier to use this power supply with the car audio equipment. Alternatively, when the yellow and black wires are braided, plugs for car audio amplifiers can be placed on the ends. For the server power supply, I have made a disconnectable wire. The next step is to turn on the power supply to make sure it turns on and works without the PC motherboard. But before you turn on the power supply, make sure that the yellow wire and the black wire are not touching together, because then there will be a short circuit and very likely your power supply will be damaged by the short circuit. Once you are sure it is safe, turn on the power supply. If the fan starts spinning, you know the power supply is working. You can double check with a multimeter and measure if the power supply is producing 12 volts. As you can see, my power supply works and provides the 12 volts that is needed for a car audio. Car audio amplifiers and active subwoofers usually have three input terminals for power. GND, which means ground or minus. Then REM input, which means remote. This input requires plus 12 volts. When the voltage on this input is applied, the car audio unit turns on. And the last input is plus 12 volts. I think the name says it all. For car audio in home, REM can be connected together with plus 12 volts. Because the car audio system will switch off when power supply is switched off. When the REM is connected to the plus 12 volt input, then yellow power supply wires or plus voltage are connected to this input. The last step is to add ground or minus which is the black wires from the power supply. Then turn the amplifier or active subwoofer input level to minimum. After that, to connect the car subwoofer to the main home audio system, you need to use an audio splitter so you can connect two 3.5mm cables to the sound source, where one cable will be for home audio system and the other aux RCA cable for the car audio. Then connect this RCA aux cable to a car amplifier or active subwoofer, Turn on the music in the sound source unit. Make sure the wires are not touching anywhere and forming a short circuit. If you are sure of everything, switch on the power supply inside and as you can see, 
Nothing exploded, the fan starts turning, and the car amplifier turns on too. I have improved the sound of my small speakers and got an impressive 2.1 system. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to post them below this video.